Hello everyone, now this video will teach you how to install the latest software for the DFL URE data recovery hardware. So for the very first step, and users need to connect the DFL URE data recovery hardware to the computer like this. Uh, the picture shows that uh, users connect the DFL URE hardware to the computer by one USB 3 cable. After that, uh, users connect the external power supply to the DFL-URE. So this is a hardware connection. After this hardware connection, then they go to the um, Dolphin Data Lab forum, the user-only forum. After that, we install the software. And here we have installed the software here. So we can see this PC, the drive G and DFO uh, programs. So this is a C panel and this is also called the DFO installation folder. Uh, after this one, then we need to go to the device manager and install the device driver and also the system driver. So for the DFO URE, users need to install two drivers at the same time. Now we go to uh, device manager here. And here we check the other devices. So this is for COM port. This COM port we need to install COM driver and then this one will be recognized. Anyway, for the DFURE, this one is usually not used for the COM driver, so we usually not install this one. If users want to install, it is also okay. So let's install the device driver for the DFURE. So URE, so this is the driver parse and Windows 10, 64. 4-bit operating system, so be next. After that, the computer will detect this DFURE device. So this is the DFURE device driver, and we can see that it has been installed successfully. Now next, after we have installed the DFURE device driver successfully, we can find out that under the universal serial bus controllers, and we will find this icon that is the DFURE device. So next we need to install the DFURE system driver and where can we add this driver? So we go to also this device manager and there is menu called action and we click action we click the add next see hardware and next and we select uh, install the hardware that I manually select from the list advanced next next and here we need to select the system driver parts and here is the driver then we click open system driver click OK so we can see DFURE system driver here and we click next so the computer has detected this DFURE system driver because all the drivers have been signed by the Windows operating systems. So under the system devices, we can see the DFURE system driver. So we can see there are two drivers. One is the DFURE device driver, and the other one is the DFURE system driver. So after install these two drivers, we go to the DFLC panel, and we double click the DFLC panel. We can see this one. Uh, it shows not registered because at this time the users need to right click any channel uh, can click generate registration file 
and click and save it so users just need to send this registration file to your sales representative or email this one to the spot at dwarfendatalab.com and users will get this DAT activation file so we exited the C panel and right click the open file location so we put this activation file to the installation folder here under the DFO programs uh, this is the installation folder we put this activation file and then the program will start working immediately so at this time we can see for in this DFLC panel and we can click the DDP data recovery program or the Western Digital or something from repair programs so this is the whole process on how to install the DFO URE software and the device driver and system driver and then the program starts to working immediately thank you for watching